this is Vaishali Siddhapa and welcome to my channel Complemental Economics and today's topic meaning of business economics. So before understanding what is business economics is all about first thing let's go with one of the story yeah, example story yeah hypothetical story through that you will understand why business economics is important and what exactly it is. The business economics to understand that let's go with one of the story here. There were a Mr. Ramurthy, CEO of a Worldwide Food Limited. After one of the meeting, he just announced, he just asked a question, he raised a question in a meeting with the board of directors. So don't you think it's a high time that we have to introduce soft drink because we are already in the food limited. So it is a high time we have to introduce soft drink also. And after that, one of the board of director, board of director, he just stood and he said, yes, we can. But unfortunately, if you introduce that, we have a long term impact on a company. So we have to think a lot. At the same time, we have a lot of competitions in the economy. So we have to understand exactly the competition, how much competition we have. For an example, the competition by white soft drinks ltd and black nectar these are the high competition what we have so we have to think about the competition and at the same time there is a lot of scope in this business there is a room of growth that means uh, you are in competition definitely but still even we can produce and supply in the market we have that much of uh, growth room in the economy so many years 10 years of statistics the 10 years of trend of statistics it shows that the market is really good but are you sure that market is going to run the same way in the future also it is not going to reduce that also we have to think so we are a food industry, we are running very good. But on the other side, even we have to think about if you're going to introduce soft drink, whether it is going to run or not. So one of the uh, industry, which is a Swati food industry, that's called Swati food industry. Even they were in a food industry and they entered the soft drink. So after the time they entered the soft drink business, they completely the production came into a loss and they failed in this particular business so that's the reason you have to be very careful and one more thing you here you have to see is how my how you can give a guarantee by seeing these kind of statistics that in future also people are going to buy you cannot guarantee future demand one more thing here we have to concentrate on is these days indians are becoming more health conscious they are moving towards the organic so in this kind of introducing a soft drink in this time do you think it's a right option and when we are introducing any soft drink we have to think about the production what is the cost of that how we're going to fix the pricing how the distribution will be done what is the finance these all the things you have to think so in this situation is this the right option so in this case again the ceo says yes it is the right time if we come uh, if even if you think about this bit later the effect will be less this is a high time that we have to introduce the soft drink to the economy so even though people are thinking about health and other reasons also there is no if and but so right now is the right time to introduce after uh, listening to the story what we got to know is when you're going to start a business when you're starting a company you have to think about a lot of things you have to think about the pricing you have to think which good you're going to produce this way hundreds of questions are there which should be answered this hypothetical uh, theory a hypothetical example through that you can just kind of have a gauge recently i was watching a couple of shows of shark tank uh, you can see in uh, YouTube also about it. So after saying that even I started feeling like how business economics is really important. So when any investors, anybody, any investor want to start any company, how exactly he is going to analyze the situation. 
so that is given by the business economics so for that reason analyzing understanding business economics is really very important so we are already aware if you want to survive in the business and if you want to get a good success completely it is dependent on the sound decisions if what is sound decision means if the decision is really very accurate you are analyzing you are understanding the economy you are analyzing all the situations you are seeing all your competitors by analyzing lot of 100 things if you are taking a proper decision for the your company that's called sound decision to make any decision so you always there is a process whenever you going to take up any kind of a decision they always you have to go with some of the process when you go with the process you have to think about efficient means see the most important problem what we are facing in the economy that is a scarcity problem when you have a scarcity you have already less number of goods in the economy the alternatives whatever alternative you have so you have to find out whether it is a feasible alternatives or not you have to check it if you going with a rational judgment on the basis of information of the and choice of particular alternative the decision maker finds as the most suitable you have to be rational you have to go with the perfect judgment when you going to start a business yeah you going to run any kind of a this thing when it comes to why we have this all problem i just told you because of the scarcity scarcity in what scarcity in land labor capital management organization in the, these all you have a scarcity scarcity means shortage shortage of land shortage shortage of labor shortage of capital shortage of all the um, management people in this way picking the best alternative method is the strategy in this one whenever you are in the production process you are involved in the productive activity you have to check which are the goods are most efficient and which are the less efficient by seeing by analyzing which are the more efficient alternative and which is the less efficient alternative you have to pick more efficient one and you have to leave less efficient in these kind of a decision making in the business is going to be helpful otherwise we going to struggle the management of a business unit generally needs a lot of strategy and tactical operational decisions so many different kind of a decisions we have so let's see what are the decisions we going to talk about now so just i'll take few of the uh, complicated questions first thing which good i have to produce what will be the price of that which are the factors we are going to use what kind of advertisement we are going to use how much money we are using for the marketing what are the machineries we going to pick for it how much money we going to invest so these are the hundreds of question you will be having which technique you are using what are what are the inputs you are using how many competitors are there what their age what they are doing what is the strategy i should choose to make my business successful these kind of hundreds of decisions i have to take in this situation the business what we are talking about the decision making it is try it's not simple it is really very complex and dynamic also it is complex in when it comes to economic environment at the same time each and every time it will be changing it is dynamic the problems continuously aggregated because most of the time whatever the production we are doing in that whatever the decision makings we are doing it is because imperfect knowledge and uncertainty in the business so decision making therefore requires lot of management equipments for an example proper methodology and appropriate analytical tools and the best techniques in the business if you have these all proper methodology appropriate analytical tools and good techniques then 
running a business it will be very helpful in this case business economics meets the, all the criteria of this and it supply the corpus of theory and techniques for the business economics the business economics is nothing but it integrated with economic theory plus business practice when you going to add this it will become business economics sometime even it is called as managerial economics how you going to manage your business so that's even called as managerial business managerial economics generally refers to integration of economic theory with business practices while the theories of economics provide tools uh, which explain various concepts like demand theory supply theory cost theory theory price theory how the competition will be you have demand so many theories in future from the next chapter onwards continuously we going to talk talk about demand supply how we going to fix the cost how what will be the cost how we going to fix the price and you how much competition you will be having how you going to face and in that how you going to react so these kind of all the decisions we going to take so to take this all decisions so having a good grip on this all application it is really very important business economic applies these tools in the process of business decision making so rational business decision making is really very important so and having economic knowledge logic theories analytical tools and this is nothing but called applied economics whenever you take any kind of a decisions in that you need a knowledge which knowledge economic knowledge you need a good logic you should have a theories you sh should know how to analyze and which are the tools to adopt if you have these all that is nothing but the applied economics and this applied economics fills the gap between business practice whatever the gap you have in uh, uh, economics and uh, business practice that gap will be filled by applied economics business economics close connection with economic theory which are the economic theory economic theory first it comes with micro and macro we share a very good relationship in micro and macro and the next one is operations research with statistics mathematics theory of decision making these all the disciplines are very important when it comes to applied economics otherwise business economics whenever we going to take any decisions so economics theory it can be operation research statistics mathematics theory of decision making these all disciplines are very important to understand how you going to take a decision in the economy if if i am a investor if i am a professional businessman having a knowledge about these all if i am going to integrate these all disciplinary into my knowledge and business practical managerial problems so definitely finding out the solution becomes really very very easy so that's reason a professional business economist should always should have these all subject knowledge these all disciplinary knowledge and don't think that this particular business economics we are going to apply in only business economics or applied economics it's also very much useful for the managers to understand the economy business competitors cost price everything not only that it is also very much useful for not for profit what is not for profit means the organizations like ngo and voluntary organizations who are running for them also this kind of applied economics your managerial economics your business economics is really very important by this video what we have understood is we have a scarcity last exact previous video of mine the first video of ca foundation course that was about the scarcity whenever you have a shortage of goods taking decision picking the right alternative a lot of complexity dynamics you have in the economy so in that by seeing the environment 
how exactly the business environment is politically it will be affected economically it will be affected financially it will be affected by observing each and everything how exactly you're going to take a decision being an investor being a professional businessman so that the business economics is going to talk about the how you're going to take a decision making and how it will be whether it's right and wrong which are the decision uh, decisions will be taken in which environment which uh, you know when how ec how exactly economy is so these all things will be analyzed so i hope you understood the topic so the next coming video of mine it is about the definition of the business economics thank you so much if you really like my video please subscribe and share thank you